Good afternoon. We're glad you're joining us today. I'm Reverend Ronnie Kenny, Assistant Minister at Unity Orlando. Welcome to our midweek prayer and meditation time. We're going to start out with Susan Francis, a prayer chaplain and a board member, reading some prayers and affirmations for you. And then I will join her after that for our meditation time. So let us begin. Good afternoon. Today I wanted to read a few affirmations for you. Immersed in divine peace, all is well with my soul. I am in the presence and radiating the power of peace here and now. In a state of peace, I recognize that no condition can cause me unrest. Peace is my breath flowing in my mind, throbbing in my heart. I am peace. All that I need to know flows from within. I am in the presence and radiating the power of wisdom here and now. May I see, hear, and sense all that I need to know for the moments ahead, flowing from infinite, universal, divine wisdom. I discern and decide to trust. The energy of divine zeal lights up my body, mind, and spirit. I am in the presence and radiating the power of zeal and enthusiasm here and now. I never have to wait for circumstances to improve, to experience and express joy. For the joy of zeal is one of the ways I know that I am one with God. God is my good. I live in gratitude. I am in the presence and radiating the power of prosperity here and now. The good I see is the good that God is. So in this moment, I choose thoughts of gratitude. I am opening for good, a giver of good, going forward in fulfillment. I embrace the world with every thought of peace. Steady in the presence and power that God is and I am, I am expressing the unifying power of divine love. I uphold the whole world every being in the world with a steady mind and ready heart. Centered in peace, I am the radiating love of God. And so it is. Thank you, Susan. And so now, let's continue where we are, but just to relax more, let our bodies sink into the chair where you are. Know that you are being supported and that you can, if you care to, close your eyes. And we're going to take a journey inward as we do each week. And so take a couple of really nice breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And as you do, feel your body relaxing. Feel your mind slowing down. Feel yourself moving your breathing. You can feel your body moving to a different beating of your heart. You're slowing down your energy. And so as we do, we'll take these moments and move our attention from the outer world into the inner space within us, that sacred, sacred space where God resides, where the truth of who we are resides. And so we just gradually turn away from the person, if we can for a moment, the person that we are, the person that we identify ourselves with, the, the labels that we call ourselves, whether we're a mother or a father or a sister or a brother or an aunt or an uncle, grandmother, grandfather. Take those labels, if you can, for a moment and just lay them aside. And at the same time, I want you 
you to let go for just now of the title that you may have as far as an occupation. Whether you're a, a physician or a plumber or a teacher or a housewife. Whatever that label that you've used probably all of your life to describe who you are. Let's put that label down. And dig a little bit deeper. Who am I? And then the label of what I look like. How tall I am. How short I am. How much do I weigh? Am I thin? Am I heavy? Am I just right? What if we, the truth of who we are, is beyond all of these labels? beyond each one, beyond what kind of clothes we wear, beyond what kind of house we live in, or apartment, or a condo, or a room, beyond that. More than the car we drive, or the motorcycle or bicycle that we use, more than our transportation, more than all of these things that we identify ourselves with. So take a breath and let yourself feel deeper than that. Feel deeper. Who am I? Who am I beyond these things that I've used to identify myself with? Does something come to mind for you? We are a child of God. We are a son or a daughter of God. Pure in spirit, full of life and love and energy and wisdom. Not this human body part. That's not what I'm talking about. But the truth beyond our physical being. The, the energy, the vibration, the truth of who we are. Spirit of God is not just a little spark within us. We are made in the image and likeness of God, that spirit that we are, was before we came into this body, and will be after we leave, never dies, never ends, it had no beginning. We are a very part of what makes up God. We are not the essence of everything. We but all of us have the quality, the inner part of us has the quality of God within us. So what does that mean for us in our day-to-day -day life as we're walking around in these body suits? So first of all, let's feel the peace that is within our soul. Let yourself feel that peace, that centeredness, that peace that is bigger than anything we can put into words, peace that passes understanding, that's not attached to any condition or anything or any person, deeper and higher and bigger. Feel that peace now, right where you are, right here, right now, where you sit, or stand, or lay. Peace fills your soul. Peace is who you are. And from that source within us, of which God is everything, 
allow yourself to feel the joy and love that comes as we feel this peace this love and joy that again is not based on circumstances it is not based on how much money we have it is a part of the very fiber of our being we are love we are joy I am love. I am joy. I am peace. And so allow that feeling to penetrate the cells in your body, to fill up every square inch, every hair on your head. That peace, that love, that joy. So what does that mean about our daily lives? How, how can we let this being that we are express through our bodies? Oh, there's lots of ways, mainly through our thoughts. Our human minds are incredibly powerful and retain everything that we've ever thought and said and read. And that's a gift, but it also can be challenging because when we want to maintain that peace within, some of those thoughts are very disruptive, very unpeaceful. So that's where our discriminatory power comes in, that we can actually clear those thoughts away. We can push them away. Now, is it easy? No, but we can do that with practice. That's not who I really am. I am peace. I am joy. I am love. So as we look out on the world and we allow these traits of our soul to shine forth, that affects everything. It affects the way we deal with people as we consciously remember this presence within. We go to the grocery store now, different than it used to be. Feel the gratitude that wells up for these people that are working so that you can buy your needs. They wear masks, they come to work, they, they put themselves in arms way us every day tell them thank you but feel that gratitude first so that they get it that you mean it and behind your mask where they can't see your smile they can see the smile in your eyes the gratitude that's just something simple as we go around the store as we check out and we pay, we tell those people how much we appreciate them. That gratitude that we give out comes right back to us. Don't you feel good when you make other people feel good? When you see the smile behind the mask in their eyes? That's just one small example. And in our dealings with those that we live with, those that we may tend to take a little more for granted. Haven't you noticed in the last six or eight weeks how much more you appreciate these people? If there's one or two or more or maybe none. When someone calls you or brings you something, don't you appreciate that so much more? That gratitude, that love that you're feeling that appreciation, it comes right back. The giving and the receiving is the same. It just keeps coming back. That's also true with the negative emotions that we feel. When we give out a sharp or a nasty comment, it'll come right back to us. Whether it comes from their mouth, but the feeling. So let's practice as knowing, becoming more aware that we are expressions of God. Practice.
just that grace of giving and we'll receive it right back of even in our mind not judging now that's a challenge for me you know, I've always had to use my gift of what I would call discernment but it ends up being judging another person not just what I feel they're like but then making a judgment about their worth those are the things that we get to change when we're aware of them I don't want to judge anybody who am I who am I to judge where anybody else is coming from I don't know so the more that you identify with the spirit within us the more that you recognize the presence within you every day as often as you can be aware of it and then know that as you speak as you look as you think you are projecting that to others so be willing be willing to be the God that is within you to because in essence you are God to other people. You are the expression of God to everyone you meet. That ever-present vibration of unconditional love that flows through us continuously. That God within. Allow that God to express more than this human being that we all have our flaws. None of us are perfect. We're not, we haven't reached enlightenment. And when we do, we will be very different. So take a few moments when you start your day, when you end your day, throughout your day, to remind yourself of who you are and who you are aiming to be. That expression of God to each and every person. So let's just take that into prayer tonight. Think about that. Use that as a mantra. I am the expression of God. So as we close this time and we move our attention back to this, this time and this space, we bring our conscious awareness back to our bodies we move our fingers and toes to just know that you're back fully. We say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for being who you are. So it is. Amen. And so I thank you again for being with us today. We love doing this. We love connecting with you midweek. To, to know that you're, you're watching. We miss you. We miss you so much. I was over at church today doing some things. We miss you very much. And we hope that in the very near future, who, who knows when, we'll get to see you face to face. But in the meantime, thanks for being here with us. Now I want to remind you this Sunday, I will be giving the, the message. The talk title is The Winds of Change. So we're going to do our live streaming at 9.15. And then we'll re-show uh, it. There we go. We'll re-show it at 11. And then it will be available sometime later on on YouTube and on um, UnityOrlando.org. We again, I again, thank you for your um, support of our church, financial as well as emotional and prayer-wise. We need you. We bless you. We are very grateful. There's a donate now button, as you know, on, on our website. Thank you so much. Um, I want to end with a prayer for protection. Unity people, you know it, and if you don't, well, you, can, you can listen and learn it for us. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the, presence. the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Amen. Blessings.